heart-centric uh, vision. Her heart-centric vision is to create a, a better humanity, uh, led her to become an established international psychotherapist, coach, speaker and author. Uh, as I mentioned, boss, your wish is your command. Now, while busy changing lives of clients from 13 countries, she squeezes her time to serve MAPS. She's one of the EXCO, uh, currently as the Vice President of Membership. So if you have membership uh, inquiries, please don't forget to speak to her after the session or after this. Uh, but she's here today to speak on living in the metaverse, right? Living in the metaverse. So let's put our hands together and welcome the one and only Dynamic Fu Eng Yi. How many of you is already a parent? Put your hands up. Wow, that's great. So as a parent, how would you like your children to grow up being or feeling? You want them to grow up being and feeling? Happy, wonderful. So if you can actually also recall, our parents also want us to grow up being? Happy. Happy, wonderful. So our parents want us to grow up being happy, the same likewise, we want our children to grow up being happy. Now just keep that in mind for a second. What I'm about to share here is the story of a girl. A girl that is so close to my heart. A girl that is highly respected and highly admired by many. Seen as someone super successful at a very young age in a male-dominant industry at 31 years old. She has already had the international recognition. The money, the status, the power, a great car, a semi D, a wardrobe full of clothes that she rarely has the chance to wear for a second time in the next 365 days. All the things that most working adults would dream for, kill for. In fact, the average age to attain all she has in that male dominant industry was 49 years old and she had it at 31. This girl, the moment she wakes up, open her eyes, she starts living in the metaverse. A world that she has started living since seven years old, when the man that she respected most in her life told her what it means to be the eldest of the family. Little Royal Highness, you are the eldest in the family. Your younger brother and your younger sisters look up to you. If you don't study well, if you don't excel, they won't too. Look at those workers outside, he pointed. Do you want your brother and your younger sisters to be like them? The little girl was shocked and stunned with the sudden conversation with her grandfather, the man that she respected most. So she looked up and she saw three local municipal cleaners busy doing their work. It was a hot, sunny, late morning. And these cleaners, they were busy picking up the rubbish bags from the side of the roads and load it at the filthy garbage truck. And then after that, they have to run after the garbage trucks. And then after that, move on to the next neighbor, the, the, the next house, and do the same thing. So they look really dirty, wet with sweat, untidy, haggard. And she started to cringe inside her. That's not what she wants for her younger brother and younger sisters. And then suddenly, that stench from that garbage truck made her pinch her nose. And she looked up at her grandfather and she said, no, that's not what I wanted them to be. The grandfather kneeled down in front of her, hold her gently by her shoulders. And he said, mm. My little royal princess, in that case, 
you must be the smartest. You must study hard and you must excel in your life. You can no longer just think of playing or have fun. In fact, you also must be the strongest in the family. Because no matter what happens, you will need to hold this family together and bring them to greater heights. This is your role as the elders of the family. You need to be the leader. You need to be the protector. Can you do this, young princess? The little girl thought for a while, looked into the eyes of her grandfather, and she nodded. She promised. From that moment on, at a very tender age of seven, this little girl assumed the role of a matured adult. She sees herself as the leader and the protector of the family, and that starting from there, She's no longer a child. She doesn't see herself as seven years old. In her world, then, whatever that she does, she makes sure that it is perfect because in her eyes, a leader must be at her best all the time. She strives her life forward, however scary she is, because a leader must be brave. And she sheds no tears. Because crying is a sign of weakness. A leader is supposed to be strong. You see, her grandfather has started to implant onto her what she needs to be 15 years down the road. And with that picture that she has in her mind visually, she started to do the things that she's supposed to do to be there. And she carried herself throughout the day, being the one she saw in the future. No longer a seven years old kid. And because of that, being a perfectionist, she takes things very, very seriously. There's no time to play, there's no time to relax, there's no time for fun. She studied really hard, she excelled in studies, she graduated from the university with flying color. And the same, of course, for the younger brother and the younger sisters, they too graduated from the university. And when she came out to work, her first interview with an HR personnel, and the HR personnel actually asked her, what do you see yourself as five to seven years down the road? The girl looked at the HR personnel. She looked decently dressed up with a lot of blinks, blinks, look really nice. And then she noticed that she's wearing a Gucci watch. Whoa, okay. So she asked her, how long have you been working in this organization? And the HR personnel said, Seven years. Here's what she answered next. What she wants to be five to seven years down the road. I want a job. <laughs> I want to be your boss. <laughs> <laughs> so again, what she had in her mind, she started to do the things that she's supposed to do to get there, and she carried herself as someone five to seven years down the road. And that's how she built her world. And she continued to live in a metaverse. She continued being strong, being perfect in everybody's eyes. And you can never sense the slightest presence of negative emotions in her life. That's how she built her success, her leadership, and her life. What wrong could that be? As her career continued to soar high, this is actually what happens when she goes back home. In reality, she felt so lost, so tired, so stuck. Extremely overwhelmed, extremely exhausted. 
to having to live in metaverse. <coughs> there was so much hurt, so much anger, so much frustration in her being the one living in the metaverse. The truth is, she's feeling helpless, hopeless, and afraid. Having to struggle all alone. And she's terrified of the world out there because she has been betrayed, cheated, and abused. But because she holds on to the words to her grandfather, her loved ones, the bosses, she kept all this negativity inside her heart, buried it deep down. So, completely exhausted, burnt out, and depressed. One day, she decided to commit suicide. And she did. Breathe, everyone. I can see that from your face. <laughs> breathe, breathe, folks. Cheer up. Now, this girl right now is standing right in front of you living every second of her life right now being in the new being in the real world okay that's me <laughs> ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters i'm here standing in front of you sharing my most humble experience of what could be the reasons behind a lot of people feeling stressed stuck and sick of their life and I'm sharing because I care. I do not want any other person to go through what I went through. And I'm here to advocate happiness. And happiness is true living our true self, the real us, the authentic us. Yeah. I still remember the longer that I stay in that metaverse, being the one I saw in the future, the heavier my reality world came crashing onto me. And the more that I wanted to try to hide my imperfection and my insecurities, the louder my heart is screaming out for help, crying for help. And that's what happened at home, I cried a lot. And nobody knows because I do not want to cry in front of anyone. Yeah. And happiness, for happiness, to live in that world of happiness, you really, really have to do a lot of work finding out what are your true values, the values within, who you truly are. Because in the kind of work that I've done in the past seven years actually, not a very long time ago, maybe a long time to a lot of people, but dealing with a lot of clients with all these problems, yeah, uh, clients from 13 countries, their thought, they know who they are. I once thought, I know who am I as well. But most of the people, the people that I see, the clients that I treat, and the people that I know, they don't really know who they are because they have been in the metaverse for so long, so long. So I'm here to call all of you to stop. Stop living in the metaverse. And I urge all of you to start being who you are truly instead of projecting and living who you are supposed to be or expect to be. And I'm here to urge everyone that you can be free from all these expectations so that be who you are. As I put in my book, be the genie. Are you living on your own terms? Are you fulfilling your expectation or other people's expectations? Right? Because when you discover who you truly are, your beingness will lead you to do the things that resonates from within and that's where happiness comes in. And the happier you are, the more you can attract and achieve successes in life, in real world. In real world. 
Ask yourself these three questions. First, are you happy with what you did yesterday and what happened yesterday? Second question, are you happy now? And third question, are you happy with what you are going to do today? And if the answers, more than one of it, is a no, that would be the time that you really need to look and reflect why. And I'm not at all surprised if you start to realize that's because you are not really living your true self. So I call upon all of you to start living your authentic self. <coughs> be who you are, be who you truly are, do things that resonate with you within, and start have a happy life right now. Thank you, brothers and sisters.